Hello and welcome to your weekly oracle. So today is blue moon. It's the second Aquarius uh, full moon that we have. And I decided to use the queen of the moon oracle uh, for that. I'm also using uh, stones, which I feel are more connected to the moon energy. And we have Celestine here. We have the rose quartz here and we have selenite here. It's now option number one, number two and number three. Go ahead and uh, make your selection and you can go down to the description box. So for those of you who've chosen the first option here, which is the selenite, we're asking, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? What is your weekly oracle card guidance? What is the message that you've come here to hear, that you need to hear at this moment? So for those of you who've chosen the first option here, which is the seal of night, we have the card 44 and it's the card of the super moon and the caption is attraction. And I think that's quite poignant because it is a full moon and it occurs not so often. And the energy of it is very much that of a very, it's a very powerful energy, you know. And I feel that this card is elaborating on that. I feel that here, as you go along in this week, it's important to know that you have a lot of power available for you. And if you're feeling low energy, or if you're feeling like you just uh, can't actually get things done in the way that you'd planned, or if you're feeling like you've been distracted by something, uh, you've been pulled in a different direction, you've had to go somewhere else, instead of being able to follow through with your goals, this card is here as a reminder to tell you that you need to get back on track because what you're doing right now is what you're going to be attracting to you. Okay, so I feel that in this week, as you go along, it's important to understand that you need to become really clear in your mind as to where you need to be. And, you know, you might be, have been distracted for whatever reason in the last um, week. Um, it might have been a medical reason or it might have been because somebody else uh, has been unwell or because you've needed to go to the aid of someone or because you just don't have the energy you've been lethargic and you, you just don't have the energy to actually do what you need to do and this card is talk is saying well you know what you need to actually remember what it is that you want to do and tap into that because if you don't that is going to be lost it's going to be lost somehow it's going to be more difficult to be able to access that energy it's almost saying that if you are able to right now it's important to be able to um, motivate yourself in order to be able to take action and not to be stubborn or rigid in yourself when it comes to taking this action and to be spontaneous, to be able to uh, take action in the way that you would normally be able to, not to let it uh, bring you down in any way that it uh, confuses you, leads you astray in any way. And I think here more than anything, uh, it's important to understand that there may be many influences tugging you in different directions at the moment. But if you have a dream, if you have a goal, if there's somewhere that you need to get to, you need to get back on that track and focus only on that. And there may be a million reasons why you can't do it or why it's better to postpone it or why it's better not to do it at this point. But this card here and this message here that I'm hearing is that it's really important to be able to to do what you need to do right now and to be able to uh, take the action that you need to take. This is also a card which might uh, alert you to any kind of um, a neurological uh, problem that you've been having or if you've been having headaches, etc. Um, then it's it, this this card is almost talking about how you can resolve those those issues, uh, that it's time to take action to resolving those issues. And I feel like the, the stone here, Celestine, is a really, really good stone uh, for for that and for uh, being able to resolve any kind of neuro neurological issues that one might be having or if you've been having headaches or migraines or anything like that. All right. It's a very much it's very much a card of healing. It's also card, a card of magic and it the stone and the card together being read together uh, brings me this energy like it's like it's fireworks you know and it's uh, so there's there's a lot of creation that can take place right now there's a lot that can be formed there's a lot of energy that can be made into being and I feel that this energy 
that we're talking about is not just for this week for you. It actually carries over for at least a month and you can do a lot in this time. And the question is, what are you going to do? What is it that you choose to do? What is it that you choose to do in the next five weeks? Um, that And, you know, perhaps it's going to make you take a, a different direction completely. Perhaps you settle as a result of it or perhaps if you are settled perhaps you get on the move or because you know perhaps you've been in limbo for a while and it's time to make that change and to shift out of that for a while and to to take action to do something and I feel here that if you have any doubts about it if you have any um any kind of talk mind talk that's telling you not to do this that you can't do it that you're not ready for it that you don't have enough um resources to be able to do it that you need to be able to tackle that one by one and just kind of ensure that you have all that you need and there is a way to be to to do it there is a way to be able to do what you need to do this card talks about bringing it in to transitions and uh beginning something new uh whether it's a new contract perhaps it's a new home uh perhaps it's uh taking your life in a different direction uh, or perhaps it, it really has to do very much about bringing things to an end. And I think that in these next five weeks, there's a great chance for you to bring something to an end and bring something, uh, to just bring start something up again, start something up, start a new direction up again. All right. So um, I feel here that, you know, uh, contemplation uh, is, is important, but I feel that um, the, what the card's really trying to say here is that whatever you're thinking right now, whatever space you're in, you're going to be attracting more of the same. Okay, so if you're in a state of um, hesitancy, you're going to attract a lot more of that. If you're in a state of being able to take a, a decision, um, you know, you're going to be able to be more decisive as you go along. If you are uh, going to be quite spontaneous and uh, almost frivolous in the way in which you make your decision, then that's going to have consequences and that's going to keep reflecting in your life as you go along. So whatever it is right now that you are in, the space that you are in, is you're going to be attracting more of that. So try for today at least, uh, or at least this week, to be able to be that person that you want to be. Be that energy or be that person that will attract to you what it is that you desire. Okay. And I feel that, uh, you know, yeah, you need to be able to do that. And that's a, it's almost like a reminder. It's almost like a late reminder that you need to do that because I feel like for most of you who've been reading this uh, message here or come to this message, it's like you've been led astray by something. Something's led you astray for the last, uh, week or so and or even more longer for some of you and you've just not been able to do what you need to do all right so try to see if it's possible to make it happen the way you want it to happen and uh, you need to do that by just being that person who would be that once you've received what it is that you're trying to receive all right so I'm going to leave it there with you I hope that has been a helpful message I feel that there's a lot here to be gained from. There's a lot of energy to be tapped into. If you are feeling tired, if you are feeling a bit lethargic, uh, don't let that bother you. Uh, just remember uh, the times at which you had lots of energy and you were able to do more. All right, I'm going to leave it at that for the moment and I'm wishing you a blessed week ahead. So for those of you who have chosen the second option here, the roads, uh, the Rose Quartz, we ask him, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? What is the message that you need to hear right now? So for those of you who have chosen the second option here, we have the Rose Quartz. And um, the card we have is the number 29. And it's called Wolf Moon. And the caption is Hunger. So here I feel that there's a real um, need and, and a desire, a longing for there to be uh, a deep desire, for there to be nurturing. And I feel like it's nurturing as far as the community is concerned. I feel like you, it's almost like you, it's a calling for your tribe. It's a calling to be part of a world, a community where people understand you are on the same page as you. I feel here as well that uh, there's a deep desire for that and it's as if there's been loneliness that has plagued you for some of that time now that loneliness it might not be as obvious 
uh, for some of you as it is for others. And perhaps for some of you, it isn't an issue at all. But there's this hunger, this, this deep desire to be nurtured, to create nurturing spaces, to be able to be amongst those who see you and to to end a loneliness, perhaps. Perhaps it's a loneliness that you don't even know that you have. But it's to bring an end to that. It's to bring, there's this vibrance or this warmth that's just out, out of your reach. And it's almost as if, if only you could get there. If only you could be surrounded by the right people. If only uh, your tribe or the people that surround you could be the people that nurture you and and also are the people that allow you to be who you need to be in this lifetime. I feel like for some of you this might be a wintry, blistery time and it might be difficult to be able to get the attention from those in your immediate environment that you need or that recognition from those in your immediate environment. Perhaps it's that uh, some of the people that you have in your life just don't recognize uh, your full capacity or don't recognize you for all that you are, how dynamic you are, how varied you are, how uh, interesting you are, how layered you are. And I think here that it might feel for you that this is quite a wintry time or blistery time in terms of that that feeling, in terms of being feeling like you're being seen, like you're being recognized. And I would say that, you know, if you have at least one person in your life that you makes you feel the way that you desire uh, to feel, reach out to them during this week, reach out to that person that makes you feel seen. And if it feel, if you feel like, you know, that you there are people around you who are envious of you or uh you know not wishing you the best uh perhaps stay away from that because i feel here that it could be that uh your warmth is being uh kind of sucked away by an energy that is um, somehow envious of you. So it could be just that, you know, it's not like somebody is sucking this energy out of you necessarily, but it could be that you pick up a vibe that somebody is a bit envious of you, just not wishing you well or not wishing the best for you. And you pick this up and it impacts you quite negatively. And as a result, you feel quite alone. And so if you are feeling like there are people in your life that don't have your best interests at heart or perhaps say that they have your best interests at heart but deep down they are you know perhaps not wishing the best for you I think it's time for you to separate yourself from those people and just let them walk their path for a while without you because there's a great need for you to be nurtured at this moment and there's a great need for you to be in warmth in light in in um in some kind of space where you're being recognized and you're being seen. Um, There's also another energy here that comes through. If you hunger for something different, for something that's almost seen to not be possible, go ahead and actually make it possible, even if it seems absurd. Try to do whatever it is that makes you feel alive again on some way inside of you try to do whatever it is that you feel drawn to do Um, and if there's something that you feel drawn to do no matter what but you aren't able to do it for whatever reason find a way to somehow be able to do it because I feel here uh, that is the only thing that's going to liberate you that's the only thing that's going to take you out of this kind of glass cage that you're in uh, where you can see the warmth and the outside of you but you just can't access it and I feel that if you had to find a way out of your own energy out of your own set of circumstances out of your own mental space right now that you will be able to access some of that natural light and that warmth that awaits you and you will be able to nurture yourself and give yourself what it is that you need right now okay so I'm going to leave it there for you for those of you who've chosen the option number two I wish you a very blessed week ahead and I hope it all works out well for you for those of you who chosen the third option here, which is the Selenite, we're asking, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? What is your weekly oracle card guidance? And what is the message that you've come here to hear right now? So 
So for those of you who've chosen the third option, we're using the stone selenite and we have the number three. And the card is a waxing crescent one and the caption is realization. So I feel here just like in the picture, it's like you're standing at a gateway of something and you're unable to get through to it. If you were just to step on the other side of this, you would find that it's really um, like you go quite fast. So it's, you know, like when you're at the top of a roller coaster and you just kind of those seconds are passing where you before you could just go down. Uh, it's that that's where you are right now. It's like those couple of minutes or seconds before you can actually get going. And I feel like once you get going, it's going to go really, really fast. So if you've been procrastinating on a project or if you've been delayed for some reason, or you've been uh, led astray, uh, not being able to do what you need to do, then uh, the moment you get started, the moment you allow yourself to get going with it, you're going to find that it goes really fast and that it gets done really quickly. And the same goes for a project that you haven't even begun yet or haven't even begun to fathom yet. I feel that as soon as you've actually decided that, yes, you're going to go ahead and do this, that it's actually going to go really fast and you're going to be able to make a lot of headway, a lot of progress really, really fast. And before you know, it, it's all going to be done and tied up and finished and you're going to be at a next stage of your life. It feels like to me here that the last couple of months, the last two or three months have been like a bit stagnant, perhaps, or you things haven't been able to move as quickly as they usually do for you. And so I feel here that, you know, it's just a matter of giving it a couple more days and walking through that portal, walking through that portal, taking the first steps that you need to make those first phone calls, uh, you know, study the first bits that you need to do, do that first contract, get it over with. And once you've done that, and once you're through the door, you're going to find that things actually just take off like really quickly. And yeah, you know, it might be that the real quick stuff doesn't come immediately. Maybe it comes in a couple of months. But when it does come, it comes like a roller coaster really quick and it all gets tied up and it's all good and well and packaged by the time the end of the year comes so I feel that you but you just need to walk through this portal you just need to be able to go through this and I think that if you aren't able to that what's going to happen is that you're going to find that you going to be sitting at this point next year sometime like come March next year you're still going to be sitting at this point so it's just a matter of having the courage to take that first step and and do what you need to do and then of course you know for some of you it's it's something that you need to keep that momentum going. You need to keep that consistency. You need to be disciplined with it in order for it to uh, to continue. And, uh, you know, you need to give it that momentum before it's able to take it the a momentum on its own. I feel here for some of you that the full moon energy is a time where you shouldn't really do much. It's not necessarily a time where you have high energy or things are working out well. Perhaps it's... Um, leading you to be a bit tired, a bit vague in terms of your energy. And I think that it's it's not necessarily a time where you need to take action. I think that during this week is a good time for you to take action and to begin something new if you need to begin something new. If you've been contemplating something for a while and not really sure of which direction to go into, not really sure of which uh, action you need to take, I feel like it doesn't really matter anymore. Like, you just need to actually just take the action that you need to take. Uh, whatever is before you, just walk through it. Do what you need to do right now. Just do what's easier right now. Do what's possible right now. For some of you, what you're thinking about is not really possible right now. You need to wait a bit before that actually happens. Maybe a year or two before you have the proper resources, before you have the proper information. And I think that, uh, you know, but but what is within your reach, what is within your grasp is very much a doable thing. And you just need to give it the go ahead, you know, give it the green light so that you can move ahead with it and you can actually uh, progress in, in, in this uh, state. Whatever it is that you've been concentrated on this weekend, uh, whatever it is that you've been, um, what, wherever it is that the moon has been shining a light on this weekend, uh, whatever your concentration has been, whatever your, wherever your mind has been buried, this is the time where you need to actually um, uh, allow yourself to to 
taking that energy, taking that information that's been given to you and run with that. So wherever it is that the moon has shone a light this weekend, whatever your preoccupation has been, is actually where you need to go to and what it is that you need to do. So if you've been split about uh, making a decision about which way to go, uh, focus on what it is that you've been concentrated on most this weekend and not what you might have been concentrated on or planning on for a long, long time. I feel here that both options are doable and possible, maybe just not at the same time, maybe one after the other. But you need to actually take time off and uh, and give yourself a break, you know, give yourself a break and not like stress yourself out too much. Just allow yourself to go with the flow and, and go through that portal, walk through that portal and be, be able to make a difference as far as yourself is concerned. And look to the energy of the moon for guidance. Look at, you know, where the moon is shining its light for you to be able to understand which pathway you need to take. All right. So I'm going to leave that message with you right now. And um, I hope that it's been a really good uh, reading. And I hope that as you go ahead, that you can make the progress that you need to in your life. I'm wishing you a very blessed week ahead. And blessings abound from Kismet Rising.